Hello everyone and welcome to the benchmarking review of the Sony Xperia M. Today we are going to test it on a variety of tools including Velamo, Antutu, Quadrant as well as Xena Mark II. Let's see some detailed information about the device. You can see the model number up top C1904 manufactured by Sony running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. You can also see the display resolution. It's a bit less due to the on-screen buttons. Now let's get into the system tab. It is powered by a dual core MSM8227 processor, that's ARM V7 based processor, maximum speed of 972 MHz. You can also see that it runs the graphics on a Reno 305 GPU. The maximum amount of RAM available is 804 MB out of 1 GB and 220 MB is available right now. The primary camera here is a 5 megapixel with a LED flash. There's also a secondary camera 0.3 MP, that's VGA front facing for video calls. There's a 1750mAh battery. There are the proximity sensor, light sensor, acceleration sensor, magnetic sensor as well as orientation sensor and all of them are working as you can see the values changing right there. Alright moving on. Now let's begin with the benchmarking. First of all we are going to run the Antutu benchmark on the device. Let's start the test. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks so that we can get to the final results quickly. So we got a final Antutu score of 10135 with CPU 2775, GPU 4981, RAM 1537 and input output 842. Now let's submit this score so that we can get a comparison chart. In the comparison chart you can see that it lands above the Samsung Galaxy S2 which is great for this device given that it has a dual core processor as well. Now we are going to run the quadrant benchmark. Let's run the full benchmark on the device. So we got a quadrant score of 4217 which is great for this device and lands above the Asus Transformer Prime tablet which is quite expected as the phone runs on the latest Cryth course from Qualcomm. Now let's move over to Nina Mark II. It's a graphics benchmark for the device. It will give us a frame rate. So we got a 64.4 FPS on Nina Mark II, which is great given any device and it's the best we have seen till date. And the test confirms. You can see that it is at the top level of all the devices that we have tested so far. Now we are going to run the Velamo benchmark. First we are going to run the HTML5 chapter which includes Sun Spider as well as V8 benchmark engine. So we got a Velamo score of 1787 on HTML5 which is again the best we have seen till date and it will be confirmed by the comparison chart as well. Let's see the comparison chart now. You can see right there, it's at the top of the comparison chart above the HTC One X as well as the Samsung Galaxy S3. And it has just a dual core processor while those two have quad core processors in them. Moving on, now we are going to run the metal chapter of Velamo. We got a Velamo score in metal of 434, which is again somewhere around the Galaxy S3 as we have seen in the past. Now let's see the comparison chart. As you can see right there, it lands just below the Samsung Galaxy S3 which is great for this device. Finally, we are going to run the multi-touch test on the device. I have six fingers on the display but it detects only five of them. So therefore, we have a five-point multi-touch display on the Sony Xperia M. So that's the benchmarking review of the Sony Xperia M. We are really really impressed with all the scores we got especially the Nina Mark II score of 64.4 FPS. This phone should be really great at playing games but we'll reserve that for our gaming review which we'll upload in two steps. First a basic gaming review and then a high-end gaming review. Till then don't forget to subscribe and have a very nice day.